how do companies reinvest themselves? Uh, how do they, in, an, in a time of massive technological disruption, find the next big thing? Conventional wisdom is that small and agile startups uh, will always outcompete large companies. And our research found that that's not true. Actually, the success rate for small companies for startups is much, much lower than the success rate for large companies. And it's a combination of factors that, that, that are going on. But more and more importantly, uh, large companies have assets such as uh, customer relationships, uh, technology platforms, that, and data that um, are really, really valuable in this age of large technological disruption. If I was to summarize our uh, research findings in uh, six words, is that large companies need to think big, start small, and learn fast when they think about disruptive innovation, as opposed to the way they usually go, which is to uh, think incrementally from their current businesses, only bet big when they need to, uh, and then have no time for learning. So a large company that thinks big will examine a large set of possibilities. They will dare to dream big. Uh, they'll look at both the upsides and downsides of, of, of big ideas. Um, and then they'll break that down. They'll start small. They'll say, OK, of this big idea, you know, rather than jumping on the big bandwagon and betting everything on it, they break it down into smaller pieces. What are the areas of uncertainty? Um, how do I test critical assumptions and take a scientific approach to innovation as opposed to companies that fail, which typically swing from complacency to panic. They think incrementally, and then when they really have to, they bet big and they have no time for learning. One of the big challenges of innovation in large companies is that the typical thought is that unless a project is really big, it doesn't matter. Um, so what happens is companies go through this long uh, process of uh, planning that has all these things that we know of as hurdle rates, return on investment, all that kind of stuff, because they're talking about big, big investments. Um, what they're essentially doing is applying the same financial rules to innovation that they're applying to the rest of the business. Shakespeare said, let's kill all the lawyers. Uh, we modified that to let's kill all the finance guys, because what happens in large companies is the financial rules about investment often get in the way of big innovation. What they should do is they should you know, defer some of those financial rules that are really applied to big investments and start with small investments. Small investments, as I said earlier, are about decomposing problems, about understanding the areas of uncertainty, and spending just a little bit at a time breaking it down and learning over time. When you, when you think about financial investments in that way, you don't need to have big financial plans. You don't have to have, you know, 60 three ring binders with, with a business plan. You just need to know what's the big problem. You need to know that there's a big potential there and you need to understand that you can invest a little bit to understand it better. So you learn to crawl before you walk, before you run.